brown texture like sun lays me down with my fine sheets throughout the night. Don't need to buy never brown with gold brown. Every time, just like the last on the ship tied to the mast. How's it going folks, this is Wayne Art, back with another lesson and a classic as always, today we've got the Stranglers and Golden Brown. Uh, Stranglers, amazing band, always one of my old man's favourite bands when I was growing up, we always used to have them on in the car and there is something about this tune, it always stops me in my tracks, I just think it's very hypnotic this tune, you know, it's a, such a great song. Uh, and it actually works really well on a guitar, I know the original's played on, on a harpsichord but I think it transposes over well quite well if you play it like this on an acoustic guitar. Uh, the actual version is sort of somewhere between the capo on the first fret and having no cap on it, capo on at all. It's sort of, you know, slightly flat of having a capo on the first fret. But if you do want to get it pretty close to the original, if you want to play it in the same key, I think if you put the capo on the first fret, you wouldn't be far off. Uh, I've obviously done it without a capo, I think, you know, I'd prefer to sing it in that key personally and it's easier to sort of uh, teach you guys what to do anyway. So uh, without further ado, let's get to it. Okay so the song is in standard tuning and first of all the intro which is also going to come up at various points in the song as well. So we're going to want an A minor chord, an E minor, an F major 7, now I put a C bass in that so regular viewers to my channel know that I use this F chord loads. So if you haven't seen that before, all we do is take a regular F major 7 and we're going to move the 3rd finger to the 3rd fret on the A string. Little Pinky is going to go on the 3rd fret on the D string, okay? Uh, and then we've got this little run down which I'll show you in a minute. So it's nice to, I'm going to sort of go through the strumming pattern now. I normally do it at the end of the video, but if you can do this I think it sounds really cool. So on the A minor we're going to hit the A string, the bass note, and then a down up, down up. We're going to do that throughout the chords. E minor, we're going to hit the open E, down up, down up, and on the F major seven, we're going to hit the uh, the A string. Okay, so put that together, and then we've got this little rundown which goes the second fret on the D string, open D, three on the A, two on the A, open A. So two notes on the D. 3, 2, naught on the A string. So put that together, we've got... And on the fourth time round... Sorry, fourth time round's going to go... It's going to go an A minor, an E minor, this time a G and an F. Okay, and then we're going to go into the verse. Now the verse chords, just two chords you're going to need for that, is a D minor. And we're also going to need a C chord. But we're going to try and do the same strumming thing. On the D minor, we're going to hit the open D, down up, down up. And on the C, we're going to hit the open A string. And try and keep that going to get this. Okay, so that carries on, obviously another verse. Then we go back into the intro section again. Okay. 
Okay, uh, we've got another verse. Uh, the solo just goes over the, the intro chords. Um, and then the only other different part of the song is the outro. So it does similar to the intro, but just slightly different. So this time we're going to go in A minor, E minor, F, G, A minor, E minor, F, G. And if you can get that strumming pattern in, like I say, it's quite tricky when you're singing at the same time, but if you can hit those bass notes. Okay, it's going to sound really, really cool. And that is pretty much all you're going to need. Okay, so thanks very much for watching. I hope you all dug that. And as I said in the intro, I absolutely love that song. I don't know, there's just something about it. Um, if I hear it in the car, I just have to pull over and sort of listen to it. It's just a real pull to that song, something sort of really hypnotic about it. Um, and it's also, you know, absolutely love playing this on a guitar as well. So it's a great one if you're, uh, you know, open mics, uh, a busker, or, you, you know, you're a solo artist. I think it's a great one to stick in your set. Like I say, big fan of the Stranglers, so I uh, hope you all dug that. If you've got any other requests, not just for Strangler songs, actually I did a, a tutorial for Always the Sun, if you want to check that out, if you are a Stranglers fan, and that is my favourite Stranglers song, an amazing song, so if you want to go and check that out, just put Wayne R in, the Stranglers, Always the Sun, and check that one out. But as I was saying, if you've got any other requests, not just for Strangler songs, anything in general, 50s to modern day, you can either comment in the post below or a good way to reach me these days on social media. So I'm Wayne R Guitar on Facebook, Twitter, and now also Instagram. Which I'd appreciate it if you gave me a follow on those platforms anyway, but that way you can send me a personal message and I always reply to messages. Just got to respect to get hundreds of requests, so I do sort of hemp at them a little bit. But please do keep them coming because that's what keeps this channel going. Uh, thanks everyone who subscribed. As always, uh, very much appreciated. It means a lot to me. Um, you could do me a big favour, hit that little notification bell down there. So every time you know I post a video, you're going to get notified about it. Which is either once or twice a week these days. And that way you can keep on top of it. Um, and another thing that you could help me is obviously spread the word, you know. Word of mouth is a powerful thing, so if you're anyone who's recently started playing a guitar or has been playing, you know, for a while and needs a little bit of in inspiration, getting some cool songs down or techniques or whatever, you know, point them in my direction, I'd very much appreciate that. So that just leaves me to say have a great morning, day, night, whenever it is you're watching, and I'll catch you all for last night soon. Take care.